Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here with Cybreco Transportation and Delivery. And uh, as promised, I am bringing you guys a video about my first week of Swift Transportation um, Academy and how that went and what all you can expect and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. First, let me preference this by saying I apologize that I am laying down in a video again in a bed in a hotel. But, um, yeah, I'm in a hotel. There's no other good places to film. I can't really prop up the phone. And I've got a roommate, and he's out right now, so I figured that this would be the best time. I've tried to film this a few times and do editing, and it was just a nightmare. So we're just going to try it as a vlog and do it live. Um, but, uh, let me first by, uh, guess start by saying I do not work for Swift um, I've never worked for Swift I've only gone through their training program let's see there we go <clears throat> and I'm a little bit sick so um, yeah still <clears throat> anyways uh, but I'm getting better so when I talk about everything, I'm just talking about from a student perspective and what all to expect. Um, and I'm going to start this one as doing permit and week one. There we go. That way I can be a little bit more clear. So, <clears throat> when I first started, I went there and I needed to go ahead and get my CDL. So, uh, I only had my class D at that point, and, um, so week one for me is going to be week, uh, one if you don't have your permits. Technically, week two that I talk about is going to be the first week for people who come there who already have their CDL. So bear that in mind. All right. So, uh, on Friday of the week prior, you will go on a Greyhound bus to Phoenix, Arizona, or whatever terminal that they put you at. Just know that my experience is with Phoenix. And you will arrive at the hotel uh, Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday morning, it, Sunday at some point. Depending on how far you are, where you gotta go, all that kind of stuff. And you get all checked in, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you get a good night's sleep because it's going to be a very busy and fast-paced couple of weeks. So, Monday morning, you get there. You want to make sure to bring your Social Security card, uh, birth certificate, driver's license, all that kind of stuff because they're going to need that. So, <clears throat> you go there at... Oh, I want to say class starts at 4 a.m. in summer and 5 a.m. in winter. Well, that's what time the bus picks you up from the hotel. That's right. Um, they pick you up at 4. Class starts at 5 in summer. And winter, they pick you up at 5. Class starts at 6. So, um... You start there, you know, they take information, make copies of stuff, go over some general paperwork, what you can expect uh, from out, throughout the week, um, all that kind of good stuff. Just like general, like, uh, knowledge, kind of things about the company, not so much about tractor, trailer, and all that kind of good stuff, but general information that you'll need, you know, where to go, bathroom expectations all that kind of stuff so that's what you're going to be doing on monday on tuesday um and oh and then they give you the study guides so then you start studying all day monday you start studying all day tuesday and then also too on tuesday or wednesday uh usually one of the instructors will go ahead and pull you out and then they'll take you to look at a tractor or semi for those of you who don't know the terminology, uh, the actual truck itself. Uh, and then they'll show you the way how the air brake system works. 
And the reason for that is because for Arizona, there's three tests that you're going to need to pass to get your permit. Your general knowledge, your air brakes, and combination vehicle. So, air, actually having a good look at how the air brakes work um, it is helpful. And also, too, they will, um, they've got some displays out on the range where, uh, they have a breakdown of how the air brake works, oh, the air brake system all the way from the service brake pedal, the pedal where you actually brake, as well as the emergency. Um, so on Monday and Tuesday, you're going to be doing that. Uh, and on Wednesday you're going to be studying and the way how the format worked while I was there is they give everyone a book and a highlighter and then they go over with you and tell you exactly what to highlight, what you need to study, different terms and things like that because these people have taken the tests over and over and over again so that's what they're paid for is they know what questions are on the test and it's the same questions how should I say this some of the questions on the test I could remember reading verbatim out of the book and then there's a pool of like 500 questions or something like that so some of the questions mean the same thing, but they might be worded a little bit differently. Um, so just keep up with the highlighting and just have faith that that'll work out for you guys. Because literally about half the questions were like verbatim things that came out of the book. And then there were a couple that were principle-based where, like, the words may not have been exactly the same out of the book, but what they were telling you was, um, a basic knowledge kind of thing. So, and the other thing is common sense. I mean, there's going to be some questions in there that are just absolute common sense. Another thing is when you go to take the test, just know if you get stopped in the middle of the test, it's because you passed. So it, um, I believe you need an 80% to pass. Once you get the possible 80%, it'll go ahead and take you out of the quiz. Um, so there's no need to take it at that point because then you for sure passed. <clears throat> so on Wednesday, you know, you guys are studying, all that kind of stuff, answering any questions about the test, doing practice tests with each other, going over it, and that's pretty much it. So then, Thursday morning, bright and early, at like 7 o'clock, they will take you guys from Swift Academy to the, uh, the commercial MVD. It's not too far from the hotel in the, um, sorry, it's not too far from the hotel as well as the, uh, terminal. They're relatively close. So then you guys will take the test, you know, assuming that you pass all three tests, then you'll get a copy of your CDL, you bring that back to the school, they copy it, they tell you, okay, see you guys Monday. In the event that you don't pass or you don't pass all of them, then on Friday you get an opportunity to go ahead and retake only the ones that you missed. So if you pass combination and uh, general knowledge, then you only have to take air brakes. If you only pass air brakes, then you have to take, you know, general knowledge and combination, etc., etc., etc. Um. The questions do rotate, so they are slightly different, although I found them to be close enough um, to the point where I understood the same questions that I was taking. Uh, and then, so, that wraps up Friday, um, because if you do pass, again, they shuttle you back to the school until you, you know, they take your copy, your permit, and then they tell you, 
Okay, have a great day. Um, and then, oh, and I forgot, on Tuesday, uh, you do your physical, your DOT physical. I'll talk more about the physical in a sec. Um, Tuesday of, of the permit week, and Tuesday, for those of you who are in week one who are just being hired on directly, uh, because you already, or not hired on directly, but you already have your permit before you go there. So, you, you then on Friday are told, you know, see you Monday. And then what'll happen is, uh, you have one more chance on Monday if you didn't pass it on Friday to take it. And, um... Unfortunately, if you don't pass it at that, at that point, you can pay to do more tries. Um, I forget if there's like a waiting period or anything like that, but it is a relatively simple test if you study. I mean, it's one of those things where you got to respect it, not fear it, because, you know, if you don't respect it, then if you don't study for it, you're probably not going to pass. But if you study for it even a couple hours throughout the day, and I mean real quality studying, you'll be fine. <clears throat> so, let's go back to the physical real quick that they have you take on Tuesday. So, when you first go there, you they are going to make you do a um, P test or whiz test, whatever you want to call it. And then they're going to do a hair follicle. Um, heads up to those of you who are bald. If you have a beard, they'll take it from your beard. They'll take back, you know, a chest, legs, whatever. But if you don't have any hair at all, then they can't hire you. They won't. They'll just send you home at that point. Uh, they'll tell you to reapply when you grow hair. Um, because it, it's it's just that simple. If if you don't have hair, um, they won't they won't take you. Um, guys and girls, if you have done anything, here's what they here's what someone told me. And I didn't have a problem, but I also didn't know this. When they do those two tests, whatever the results are, they send that to DOT. So, if you're dirty at all, it won't just be that you can't get a job with Swift or go through the academy. You can't get your CDL. And I don't know what the time... I think it's two years... But it could be more. So, um, and actually, that might be indefinitely because uh, the person who was telling me that, you know, if you're, he was telling class, not just me, but if you're dirty at all, uh, you know, you come up positive for marijuana, even if it's legal in your state, your CDL's gone forever. So... I don't know if that was just a scarus, or if that was a literal uh, thing. If you've ever done drugs, then it's gone. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter if your state makes it legal. It's still illegal on a federal level. Your license, your CDL is a federal license. Okay, so... If that, uh, if that test comes back, you know, they say that they can go up to a year... I don't know. I've not partaken in those activities. So, I I can't honestly say how long it goes back. According to Google, it's somewhere between three and six months. But again, why risk it? You know, just reapply after a year, because they say that the hair only goes back a year. So, moving forward on to other, phys uh, other parts of the physical, um, guys like me who are bigger and girls, uh, be prepared for a sleep apnea question. There's really no lying about it. If you're heavy, they're going to ask you to uh, do a 
sleep study. So if you have sleep apnea, you're diagnosed with it, go ahead and bring, I believe they want at least a 30 day compliance report. So basically it shows how often you're using the CPAP and all that kind of good stuff. Um, you want to have, I had a 98%, but I believe that the cutoff is like 92 or something like that. It's pretty high up there. And for those of you who already have sleep apnea, why would you not use it? I sleep so much better. Uh, okay, so check to the sleep apnea. Um, then they're just going to have you do like a hearing test, um, a vision test. Uh, you're also, I believe, well, I know for a fact you're going to have to do a blood pressure. Um, those of you who are heavy, make sure that your blood pressure is under control. Bring your meds with you. Um, so that way you can disclose what type of meds you're on and they can get all that checked out. Otherwise, because if, if you don't do all this, all that's going to happen is in your hiring process, it's just going to get held up because that's when they, you know, check through everything and cross their T's and dot their I's and they want to double check everything. And I guarantee you, you won't just squeak through the system. Um... For physicals, you know, for guys, you know, you're going to have to turn your head and cough. Um, there's that. Um, you're going to have to walk on your tippy toes, on your heels, push up against uh, the doctor holding your arms and your legs. And that's about it. There's really not too much about it. Um... It just takes uh, a little while because, you know, the sheer group of people trying to get into truck driving. A few people will probably be knocked off of this just because they don't have their paperwork. They show up dirty. It dirty is in drug test, not cleanliness, although that's, you know, you kind of want to make sure you're cleanly. Um, things like that. So that's for the week one for the permit people. Now, week one for the um, drivers, you know, this video is at 17, almost 18 minutes already. I'm going to end it here for the permit people, and then I'm going to film a different video for week one. That way, those of you who already have your permit, you guys can watch a different video. So, guys, I appreciate it. Again, I apologize for the quality of these videos, but... I'm A, not feeling well, B, have nowhere to film, and C, I am waiting for my mentor to get here, so take care, guys. See you soon.